Hello and welcome to KennyRoy.com. I'm Kenny Roy. This is the Ask Video Mail for the week of January 5th, 2015. Welcome to the site to you new members and welcome back to the old members. The Ask Video Mail is your chance to get your question in character animation or performance answered in a video just like this one, but I need your question if I'm going to answer it. So please send them to webmaster at kennyroy.com. I go through all the questions and I answer the ones that I think will help the most people. There's no such thing as a stupid question and it is the best way to get the most out of the site. It is the new year, but I'm still in New Zealand. I know it looks like I'm here, but I'm not still in New Zealand. So I will actually officially uh, go gaga and goo goo and, and welcome you to the new year um, in next week's video mail when I am here recording it live. Um, I had to pre-record this one, but here we are. And uh, uh, so it's the new year, but not really. We'll, we'll do it for real. If you're confused, just let's just move on. <laughs> let's just move on. Um, so this is, um, uh, but let me tell you some things that I do know that, uh, uh, I can say uh, this year is going to be crazy. It's going to be it's going to be gonzo. It's going to be banana sandwich crazy um, here on KennyRoy.com. I am uh, going to be putting together the MOOC. Um, I've already talked to some people that are pretty influential in the animation industry, at least on the training side, and they are interested in contributing. Uh, a lot of things coming together for this. I, I think it's been a long time coming, um, and. Uh, just a few things to work out in terms of what the format needs to be before um, we get started building the curriculum and, and, and it's going to be a way we go. So if you didn't have any, uh, if you didn't hear anything about the MOOC and you didn't uh, get any information about it, uh, I, I was doing it in, at, at CTN and uh, trying to get some people, you know, that I could uh, ask questions and, and sort of like discuss format with. Um, if you would like to be included in that, um, just send me an email um, to Kenny Roy Gmail or use the contact form here, here on on uh, KennyWare.com and I will put you on that mailing list so that we can talk a little bit more about the MOOC. But, but I do need you guys' help. I, I definitely can't create this entire thing myself. I can't do it in a vacuum. I need feedback and to talk to people. So um, it's very important that we, we talk if you are interested in that thing. But uh, besides that, let's just have a great year and a lot more learning and pushing the uh, craft and the conversation forward together, okay? Uh, here's a great question. I've, uh, I've been saving this one. I think it's fantastic. Look at this. Uh, great question. Thank you for sending that one in. I think this um, lends itself uh, a lot to um, just in general, just the idea of taking your inspiration from life and uh, bringing a stopwatch along. Um, sure, if that if if you find that necessary, like absolutely. Um, I have a you know I, I I I run so I have a you know sort of like a, a Casio beater or a Timex, you know, this is just a beater, like I, I take this through the mud and everything, so um, I'd like a nice watch, but I, I, I th probably would find it annoying having to switch watches all the time, anyway. Um, and this has, a, this has a stopwatch on it. In fact, this has it down to um, hundredths of a second. So a stopwatch might be able to show you um, seconds, but a, uh, a, um, a uh, digital watch with a with a stopwatch on it is probably a lot better, right? If you're just l looking at something, yeah, six oh seven, one point nine zero lap speed. So, um, yeah, down to a hundredth of a second, you're actually at subframe accuracy. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to um, time something out, you could actually look you know, a couple times, and if you know how to use a lap function, uh, most stopwatches um, have a lap function, and you could actually kind of like average out what you're seeing. Okay, so that was an average. I was seeing like 65, 68, 67, 66, 67. So it was somewhere around like 67 hundredths of a second. And 67 divided by... Whoa, 
That was weird. Don't use the stupid thing. 67 divided by 100 times 24 is equal to 16.08, <clears throat> so 16 frames. So I was doing it every 16 frames, okay? So that's the way you do that with a stopwatch. But I also wanted to talk about some things that you might not be able to see, you might not be able to observe. I find things that are kind of supernatural and, and actually like related to, for some reason, it's related to like fire and electricity and explosions. I find the, the, the contrast and the timing, I find it insane. I am so inspired by it. I don't know why. So whenever I come across like an interesting YouTube video, I have an inspiration folder that I fill with those kinds of things. And I don't know how and when I use it, but if I can sort of approach the amount of kind of like excitement I get when I see stuff like that, um, I feel like I've done a good job. So let me show you, let me show you one or two of these. And, uh, I'm going to turn the sound down uh, and you can see here okay so here's a family I'm not sure what the subtitle is saying here's a family look like we're on a ski trip let's go up here everything's going great until we start hearing something what is that sound oh my god look at that it's a power line that's been downed and it's touching a tree and there's fire on the electricity. There's fire on the electricity, people. Look at that. I'm sorry, but does that not, isn't that the most crazy and like raw energy no see i'm getting so excited isn't that like the craziest thing you've ever seen so like you wouldn't be able to time that and you wouldn't really get much from that but just something about that energy just drives me wild and i love it and so um you should save all that kind of stuff anything that excites you save it Okay. Yeah, you can run around and, and if you're out and about and you're, you have a stopwatch or you have a, a digital watch with a stopwatch on it and you're watching like a little duck, you know, you know, you know running around or whatever it is. Sure. I mean, yeah, absolutely do that. There's, 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 there's a lot of, um, a lot of stuff that has like some weird timings that you probably wouldn't into it. It's the way that it is, and, and it's good to be accurate. But more than being accurate, more than like, you know, coming back from a day walking through the park and having written down like, you know, five or ten different, you know, timings for stuff that you didn't know before for the sake of being accurate or for the sake of having it, it's better to have sort of a repository of things that just blow your skirt up just make you nuts with 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 energy okay here's another one that I that I, I love okay um, you've probably seen this the reason I love this one is be, is the delay between the the visual and the audio and the contrast because there's a slow in and then the quickest fast out I've ever seen ever it's insane um, so the, the contrast here is just beautiful watch this you have probably seen this if you've been on the internet in the past 10 years you've seen this but check this out Okay, one more time. Okay, I lied, I lied, not one more time. Two more times. Oh, 
man, just just the speed that the flash, the just the delay between the flash and the sound and how fast it's like instantaneously in all directions. It's like one frame, it's out there, and then like two frames later, then the sound. And it's 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 so amazing. I don't know what it is about that, but I know someday I'm going to have to animate something that has sort of like that the, the silence, like that calm, and then something happening. And I'm going to refer to that. I'm going to have like my my finger on the trigger, ready to bring up that YouTube video when the time comes. Okay. And then other stuff I said like it's a lot of like electricity and fire, like kind of like blows my mind. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this. I can't play this, the the sound because there's a there's a copyright song on there. But um, check this out. This is a fire tornado. So they started a bonfire and then they turned on all of these box fans. And um, when the uh, fire starts growing, it actually gets whipped up into a fire tornado look at that look at that it gets it gets actually even a little bit better it gets a little bit more formed here let me show you there we go look at that thing so you remember in um, the 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 powerful Wizard of Oz or the the recent one with James Franco where uh, Mila Kunis is like like inside like the fire she lands and then there's like this fire and she's inside it like looking around it doesn't even come near this and this is like this is real it doesn't look half this cool and this is actually a real fire tornado so anyway this is like yet another thing where i'm like i don't know when i'm going to use this i know i tell you what i don't know when i'm going to use this at all but I know I know that I, at some point I'm gonna want to use that feeling okay sort of the mixture of it's it's almost it's almost art like the, just the way that they've they've they, they've come up with this it's like a mixture of art and nature and just like energy and it's it's also so dangerous but beautiful at the same time and I don't know how I'm gonna use that but if I can if I can get anywhere near that, if I can even just like, just just lightly just glance it with my with my my art, I'll be happy. If I can even just approach it, I will be happy. So, um, great question. Yeah, I mean, I never thought of it because I always do have like a stopwatch right here on my arm. But um, if you wanted to bring a stopwatch with you wherever you go, you can probably get some pretty cool you know, uh, 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 timings for things that you'd never, never think of before. Um, but also let me encourage you to start saving all these things that just like get your energy up. This is this, this industry entertainment is not just laughter and excitement. People who people, you couldn't have a diet of just sugar, right? People don't want to just be made to laugh or made to feel good. We need yin and yang. We need this sort of the catharsis of, of like release of sorrow as humans. And that's why we watch horror films, we watch drama, and we watch you know all this stuff, that human experience. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because you don't just, you shouldn't just know about entertainment as, as it pertains to like funny, happy comedy and whatever. You should, start thinking about entertainment on a higher level which is like elevating the energy of your audience whether you're elevating their their negative energy by making them hate a character they see on screen um elevating their negative energy by making them cry because you kill off a a, a beloved character um or elevating them in a really super positive way where you know you, you're displaying love or 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 trust or honor or one of those one of those really positive attributes um Knowing about energy also means kind of like taking the time to 
figure out the things that on a very base level, like an instinctual level, like raise energy. And and for me, those things like, like mind-blowingly amazing for, for energy. So um, figure out what those things are for you and start collecting those. All right? All right. I will see you guys again next week. Uh, same as usual. It's been a blast. I'm Kenny Roy. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your animation. As always, rock on.